Hey guys, so we've stopped here at a little Lake Boot uh, Trail. Now, just show you around very, very quickly. So it's a caravan park just over here. You've got your lake and boat launch just over there. And the best of all, you've got a BP over there. And the best of all, you've got just in there, hot and cold showers, free, flushing toilets, clean. Amazing. We've been here yesterday, had a shower, and again today before we take off. Uh, you are very close to the showgrounds, which has a dumping station as well. Uh, unbelievable. I'm on top of the world here right now. I'm clean, um, feel fresh, deodorant. Um, I'm just, I'm set. I'm set. We're just waiting for MJ to finish her shower now. And uh, we're going to be having a bit of a breakfast and then take off to another destination. We're thinking about going to the Grampians. All right, so we're off again, guys. So uh, we left the little lake boot and we're off to uh, what destination? Look, New South Wales borders. Yeah, border. towards the, yeah. So we had the three showers, as you probably just seen on my last uh, update. So we just had three showers, hot and cold. They were cleanish. Enough but always wear thongs just to keep you feet uh, safe. Um, we haven't had breakfast yet, we just wanted to get out uh, from that uh, the last camp spot. Yeah, too many mosquitoes everywhere. Other than that, yeah, we're just going to enjoy the drive and uh, hope everyone has a Merry Christmas. Yes, and we'll see you the next spot. And uh, basically uh, a stopover or a rest area where you can rest for up to 72 hours, I think they said. Thank you for vis visiting uh, Leechville. All feedback, suggestions, comments and donations are appreciated. We got uh, drinking water for vans right there. So you can hold a couple of vans in here, just park obviously in these loading bays for the night. Bob's the uncle, he's sweet, you're all done. Now what we're gonna be doing, we're gonna make, we have some breakfast, a free barbecue here, which I'm pretty happy about. Talk about living off the land. <laughs> so I'm gonna start making breakfast and uh, talk to you soon. Living the dream. Uh, Back in the next, you gotta bring tongs as well, babe. It's gonna be a lot of fun when we buy a van and build it out if that ever is gonna happen. We talked about it for the last two years. Merry Christmas, baby. Merry Christmas. Oh. Mm. 
know what? I love it. Living on the land, of the land. Mm -hmm. oh. right, so we've got the bonnet up, so it's going to keep it cool. It's about 30 something degrees again, which is always fun. Baby's all chilling out. Yeah, so King Albert Avenue, and there's a bakery just down that road there. Like, I wouldn't mind staying here for the night, but I need to find a better, another location. Or do you want to stay here? We'll see how we go. But it's only been a 45 minute drive, that'd be boring. So let's eat, cool down a little bit, let the babies relax from the car, and we'll decide where we go. Yay! <laughs> yeah, special. Okay. We'd like to wish everyone a very Merry Christmas from the uh, Antonich family. Auntie, it's Merry Christmas, guys. Christmas on the road. That's it. Eight days ago. Living the dream. So because we've got a small tank under the caravan, I think it's about 50, 60 litres, we've got an extra 20 litre tank of fresh water on the back. We run out quite quickly. MJ likes to use a lot of water. So we're using our first uh, best water filter, which a lot of you guys on the caravan sites have recommended. Got highly recommended, actually. We need to organize the connectors for that. Yeah. Here's the bunnings tomorrow. Yeah. Or whatever. Yeah. Or even the $2. Yep. Yeah. And it looks like it's about to be full. I'll tell you when to stop. Isn't it fun? You have a caravan or a van and just you scout for water, free barbecues, free showers. Just it's all part of the adventure. I'm enjoying this living on the road. Just on the squirt. Oh, oh, yeah, that's oh 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 oh. oh. Okay, give me one second, I'm going to fill up the back water now. And we've got this here for the dogs and for showers if we need to live off the water, live, live off the land. So there's 20 layers. we're supposed to put another one there, but hey. That's all she wrote. Stopped in New South Wales and the babies are in the Murray. Daisy just loves the water. So we are in Big Tree at the moment in New South Wales. 
Now, it's a camp spot for 72 hours, but you have to be self-contained. So we're not sure if we'll stay here the night or not because of mosquitoes, but we'll see how we go. Yeah, and does it say swimming allowed? Yes, and it's good fishing spot. Right. And public toilets are across the road at the foot football club. Okay. Across the road? Oh, that way. Public toilets across the road. Down the water. Down the water. Go. Come on, mate, you need to get wet. Come on. Daisy. She's going to do poo. Go for it. Go for it. <laughs> when you have an opportunity to have a shower and it's hot, find a tap. Got my Juka accessories. Live in the dream, guys. Live in the dream. All right, so it looks like we're coming into Bal Ranald, the uh, town of Bal Ranald. We've got the uh, server, BP on the right hand side coming into the town, which is, I need ice cream, seriously. Um, it's six o'clock and it's still over 36 degrees. Okay, so which one we going? Left. Okay, so. Because that's the town we want to come to. So we arrived at Bal Ranald, New South Wales. It's hot. You know what? With Telstra, I haven't had 5G near my place for a long time. Telstra 5G network. And I've got 5G on my phone. Amazing, blown away. So we're just gonna go for a walk around and see if there's another parking spot because we can't stay like that. That's uneven. Ooh, the birds. They're eating all their bloody food. Wow. Can you hold them? I'm gonna go and grab a plastic box just in case I forgot. Alright, so let's keep walking around and have a look around. It actually looks like a beautiful town, guys. A really beautiful town. A lot of palm trees. Go to New South Wales. Nice town. Okay, guys, at this rest stop, you've got showers for women, showers for men, no dogs allowed. And there's more than one cubicle in here. Oh, shit up. Showers. Okay. Smells pretty bad. Yeah. But that's, it is, it's pretty clean. Okay. It's the motion box. It looks alright. Let's yes. keep that. So here is an old Ball Reynold lockup. It's an old jail. It's obviously closed today, but uh, pretty interesting to find on the way through. I'm sure everything's closed. Yeah, it hasn't been used here for a while. So, no. People try to break out of jail and I'm trying to break in. How funny. So it was built in uh, 1887. Uh, it was a police station and, and house attached. Uh, Ronald Ryan, the last man. Oh, 
Ronald Ryan, the last man hung in Australia in 1967, was held here in lockup after he was caught robbing a local bank at the age of 16. The last, the lockup was last used in 1977 and apparently held both men and women. Oh, wow. Let's go for a walk around. Places you find when you're traveling, it's absolutely amazing. We didn't even know about this town. And here we are. Beautiful greenery, like it's so nice here. Look at this. Little skate park at the back. happening in there. This town guys, absolutely nice town. You got palm trees everywhere, it's absolutely beautiful here. An old school. Built in 1886 by John Winton Murphy. The building was originally used to homestead the Winton Station and late later became the schoolhouse. Wow, some heritage in this town guys. Now where's my wife gone? What's wrong? That's the RV stop right there. We have to stop there. Did you open it? No. No, so it's clocked. Oh, it looked like it's open. It's open, it's jarred open, but it's not open. Oh. And there's an old school just there. How cool is that? Mm -hmm. See, oh, yeah. see, see, by accident, yeah, see. We have to go through the middle of the desert to get here, but we got here. We've still got a recharging station, and our RMA recharging station. Okay, got it. So I need to come up here. Yeah, okay. yeah. So, uh, let's uh, bring the car back around with the caravan and chill out. Talk soon, guys. Uh-oh. Hey, guys. So, I was just reading something. Turn the uh, beep 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 off on the camera, so I don't know when it's turning off and on. So we're still in Bell Reynolds, and if I'm pronouncing it right, please just tell me, hey dickhead, you're spelling it wrong, well, saying it wrong. So Bell Reynolds, it's B A L A B A L R A N A L D. Uh, Bell Reynolds, Bell Reynolds. Anyway, we're still here, but we have stopped. MJ says enough of driving. She's sick and tired of driving i'm sick and tired of driving and we wanted to go somewhere safe and we can just put our hair down figuratively speaking got no hair um let our hairs down and just relax for a couple of days and by accident in bar reynolds we were going to stop at the rv um 24 hour stop we stopped in a, in a beautiful caravan park and i've never stayed really in a caravan park before um, let me just show you around very quickly at our setup. First off, this is all river here, and you probably can see the water. It's all swimming river, and I think it might be the Murray. I don't know. Okay, guys, so don't quote me on that. But I will take a walk down there tomorrow and show you around. Look, at, we're on a non powered site, and this is all non powered. And look how beautiful and green, besides a few areas here and there. You've got firewood over there, and this is our setup. We've got the solar panels happening because honestly we don't we haven't got air conditioning so we don't really need a powered site uh got the solar panels happening which i use on all my travels caravan set up the web is set up um you got drinking and washing your dishes over there you got garbage bins you've got toilet and facilities I'm not sure what's in there at the moment but it shows toilet over there so it might be uh showers as well don't know um you got all powered sites all the way over there not sure what that cabin is 
nice beautiful Jayco silver line just down there so yeah so I'm gonna go for a bit of a walk a bit later we're still setting up but guys I am so over the moon I'm so happy it's relaxing $25 per night um, I'm gonna go there and speak to the the owner or someone in charge and see if I can get discount codes for you guys my channel is only small it's only getting to 3,000 people but I'm going to do everything I can to try to maybe help everyone on my on my uh, subscribe and on all these platforms as well. So um, you can fit big motorhomes here as well. So if it's a big silver line over there, you definitely can fit motorhomes here. And you got cabins as well. Uh, dog friendly. That's a, that's a big one. Dog friendly. Living the dream, guys. Living the dream. I tell you what, I'm in heaven. Also, uh, Telstra Tower just behind us. 5G full power network. 5G! Finally, because I don't see 5G where I live, that's in the back of Smash. It's usually four and a half. Anyway, that's how I look at it. Four and a half G. But yeah, I'm on top of the world, guys. I'm so happy. Anyway, let me still set up. Put a bit of clothes on, I think. And talk soon. Love you guys. Take care. Alright, so, yeah, it looks like the, uh, yeah, where everyone comes and eats. Oh, wow. Look at this. Oh, my God. Is there actually a light here? More, uh, I guess, bee wasps, hives. I'd be surprised if there were snakes here and I'm wearing the wrong shoes. <laughs> 